أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم أليف لام م ر These are the signs or verses of the book. That which has been revealed unto you from your Lord is the truth. But most men believe not. Allah is He who raised the heavens without any pillars that you can see. Then He established Himself on the throne of authority. He has subjected the sun and the moon to His law. Each one runs its course for a term appointed. He does regulate all affairs, explaining the signs in detail, that you may believe with certainty in the meeting with your Lord. And it is he who spread out the earth and set there on mountains standing firm and flowing rivers and fruit of every kind he made in pairs, two and two. He draws the night as a veil over the day. Behold, verily, in these things there are signs for those who consider. And in the earth are tracts, diverse though neighboring, and gardens of vines and fields sown with corn and palm trees, growing out of single roots or otherwise, watered with the same water, yet some of them we make more excellent than others to eat. Behold, verily in these things there are signs for those who understand. If you do marvel at their want of faith, strange is their saying, when we are actually dust, shall we indeed then be in a creation renewed? They are those who deny their Lord. They are those round whose necks will be yokes of servitude. They will be companions of the fire to dwell therein for a. They ask you to hasten on the evil in preference to the good, yet have come to pass. Before them many exemplary punishments. But verily your Lord is full of forgiveness for mankind for their wrongdoing. And verily your Lord is also strict in punishment. And the unbelievers say, Why is not a sign sent unto him from his Lord? But you are truly a warner, and to every people a guide. Allah does know what every female womb does bear, by how much the wombs fall short of their time or number, or do exceed. Every single thing is before his sight in due proportion. He knows the unseen and that which is open. He is the great, the most high. It is the same to him whether any of you conceal his speech or declare it openly, whether he lie hid by night or walk forth freely by day. For each such person there are angels in succession before and behind him. They guard him by command of Allah. Verily, never will Allah change the condition of a people until they change it themselves with their own souls. But when once Allah wills a people's punishment, there can be no turning it back, nor will they find besides him any to protect. It is he who does show you the lightning, by way both of fear and of hope. It is he who does raise up the clouds, heavy with fertilizing rain. Nay, thunder repeats his praises, and so do the angels with awe. He flings the loud-voiced thunderbolts, and therewith he strikes whomsoever he will. Yet these are the men who dare to dispute about Allah with the strength of his power supreme. For him alone is prayer in truth. Any others that they call upon besides him hear them no more than if they were to stretch forth their hands for water to reach their mouths, but it reaches them not. For the prayer of those without faith is nothing but a futile wandering in the mind. Whatever beings there are in the heavens and the earth, do prostrate themselves to Allah, acknowledging subjection with goodwill or in spite of themselves. So do their shadows in the mornings and evenings. Say, who is the Lord and sustainer of the heavens and the earth? Say, it is Allah. Say, do you then take for worship protectors other than him, such as have no power either for good or for harm to themselves? Say, are the blind equal with those who see, or the depths of darkness equal with light? Or do they assign to Allah partners who have created anything as He has created, so that the creation seemed to them similar? Say, Allah is the creator of all things. He is the one, the supreme, and irresistible. He sends down water from the skies, 
and the channels flow, each according to its measure. But the torrent bears away the foam that mounts up to the surface. Even so, from that ore which they heat in the fire, to make ornaments or utensils therewith, there is a scum likewise. Thus does Allah by parables show forth truth and vanity. For the scum disappears like froth cast out, while that which is for the good of mankind remains on the earth. Thus does Allah set forth parables. For those who respond to their Lord are all good things. But those who respond not to him, even if they had all that is in the heavens and on earth, and as much more in vain would they offer it for ransom. For them will the reckoning be terrible. Their abode will be hell. What a bed of misery! Is then one who does know that which has been revealed unto you from your Lord is the truth? Like one who is blind, it is those who are endured with understanding that receive admonition. Those who fulfill the covenant of Allah and fail not in their plighted words. Those who join together those things which Allah has commanded to be joined, hold their Lord in awe and fear the terrible reckoning. Those who patiently persevere, seeking the countenance of their Lord, establish regular prayers, spend out of the gifts we have bestowed for their sustenance, secretly and openly, and turn off evil with good, for such there is the final attainment of the eternal home. Gardens of perpetual bliss, they shall enter there as well as the righteous among their fathers, their spouses, and their offspring. And angels shall enter unto them from every gate with the salutation, Peace upon you, for that you persevered in patience. Now how excellent is the final home. But those who break the covenant of Allah, after having plighted their word thereto, and cut asunder those things which Allah has commanded to be joined, and work mischief in the land, on them is the curse, for them is the terrible home. Allah does enlarge or grant by strict measure the sustenance which he gives to whom so he pleases. The worldly rejoice in the life of this world, but the life of this world is but little comfort in the hereafter. The unbelievers say, Why is not a sign sent down to him from his Lord? Say, Truly Allah leaves to stray whom he will, but he guides to himself those who turn to him in penitence. Those who believe, and whose hearts find satisfaction in the remembrance of Allah. For without doubt in the remembrance of Allah do hearts find satisfaction. For those who believe and work righteousness is every blessedness and a beautiful place of final return. Thus have we sent you amongst the people before whom long since have other peoples gone and passed away in order that you might rehearse unto them what we send down unto you by inspiration. Yet do they reject him, the most gracious. Say, He is my Lord, there is no God but he, on him is my trust, and to him do I turn. If there were a Qur'an with which mountains were moved, or the earth were cloven asunder, or the dead were made to speak, this would be the one. But truly the command is with Allah in all things. Do not the believers know that had Allah so willed, he could have guided all mankind to the right? But the unbelievers, never will disaster cease to seize them for their ill deeds, or to settle close to their homes, until the promise of Allah come to pass. For verily, Allah will not fail in his promise. Mocked were many messengers before you, but I granted respite to the unbelievers, and finally I punished them. Then how terrible was my requital! Is then he who stands over every soul and knows all that it does, like any others? And yet they ascribe partners to Allah. Say, but name them. Is it that you will inform him of something he knows not on earth? Or is it just a show of words? Nay, to those who believe not, their pretense seems pleasing, but they are kept back thereby from the path, and those whom Allah leaves to stray, no one can guide. For them is a penalty in the life of this world, but harder, truly, is the penalty of the hereafter, and defender have they none against Allah.
The parable of the garden which the righteous are promised, beneath it flow rivers. Perpetual is the enjoyment thereof, and the shade therein. Such is the end of the righteous, and the end of unbelievers is the fire. Those to whom we have given the book rejoice at what has been revealed unto you. But there are among the clans those who reject a part thereof. Say, I am commanded to worship Allah, and not to join partners with him. Unto him do I call, and unto him is my return. Thus have we revealed it to be a judgment of authority in Arabic. Were you to follow their vain desires after the knowledge which has reached you, then would you find neither protector nor defender against Allah. We did send messengers before you, and appointed for them wives and children, and it was never the part of a messenger to bring a sign except as Allah permitted, or commanded, for each period is a book revealed. Allah does blot out or confirm what he pleases, with him is the mother of the book. Whether we shall show you within your lifetime part of what we promised them, or take to ourselves your soul before it is all accomplished, your duty is to make the message reach them. It is our part to call them to account. See they not that we gradually reduce the land in their control from its outlying border? Where Allah commands there is none to put back his command, and he is swift in calling to account. Those before them did also devise plots. But in all things the master planning is Allah's. He knows the doings of every soul. And soon will the unbelievers know who gets home in the end. The unbelievers say, No messenger are you. Say, Enough for a witness between me and you is Allah, and such as have knowledge of the book.